wondering, they're like, why is it so important to you to say that you're biracial? I'm like, I, because my mom's white, she's Irish Italian and my dad's black. And I, mm -hmm. I'm like, why, yeah. why not? Like, yeah. I actually feel like I have the best of both worlds. Barack Obama chose black and he's biracial. I'm like, well, congratulations to the president. That's his thing. I go, I think that's fascinating consider, considering his black dad was nowhere to be found, but his white mom and grandma raised him. But hey, mm -hmm. you do you, I'm gonna do me. Hi you guys, so I just wanted to come and to touch on the Sage uh, still from ESPN conversation about her making some comments about Barack Obama's uh, father. Now I don't even remember now because I didn't. I don't watch ESPN, but I don't really know what possessed her uh, to have that conversation in the first place. But she. Um, of course, decided to, um, you know, say she doesn't know why he's classifying himself as black um, since his father was not there. Um, and I think that it wasn't so much what she said, because the truth just is, right? Because when somebody is just telling the truth, the truth just is what it is. Um, but I think that it, it was the um, way in which she was saying it and the context in which she was saying it and why she was saying it. Because even if it is a true statement, was that a conversation that she, why would that be a conversation that she felt a need to have in that moment when you're supposed to be analyzing football games, basketball, whatever it is that she do. I don't know what she do. Uh, <laughs> over for ESPN, but I'm assuming that it's something uh, centered around uh, sports. Um, so I didn't really get why she was doing that, but then after looking and doing a little slight research on her, she says a lot of colorful things, um, in particular where black people are concerned. And so I'm not surprised once I started to see the other things that she um, has said it. I, it. I guess she's kind of like uh, the ESPN version of Candace Owens, right? Um, and she um, is biracial herself. And so this is the conversation I want to have um, with this video. And I've said this before on another channel. You know, people think that because they um, have a certain bloodline or that they are married to a black person or, you know, um, that somehow these things give them some type of authority to say whatever it is that they want to say about um, black, the black community and to give their input on things that they have absolutely nothing to do with or know anything about, but they have input that they feel that somehow they have a right to share um, simply because of their connections, not because they are or they come from our community and were raised in our community um, and truly understand our history. It's just be simply because of those connections, they feel like they have a right to speak. And I think that's, that is a problem. And I, I see um, there's someone here on YouTube named The Black Authority that he made a video. Um, and I haven't watched the entire video yet, um, but he 
was speaking on that very topic before she even came out and made her statements. Um, he was talking about um, how these people will become the new racism. You know, now we not only are we dealing with all these groups that uh, absolutely have nothing to do with us, but now we have this group of people that's growing, and they are growing, who are semi-connected um, to us, or they may look uh, like us or stronger, have a stronger look in our direction, but not necessarily um, culturally identify with us. But they, you know, have, seem to have such a, um, a disdain or a hate type tone that they take with us. Because first of all, I believe to my understanding, I don't know Barack Obama's father, you know, uh, to honestly say why the man was not there. But I do understand that he was an exchange student, to my understanding. So his time in this country was temporary anyway. Um, and back in those days, um, well, still even in these days, as we can see with the whole Haitian situation, you know, when it's time for us to leave this country or, you know, black people of African descent, they make sure that you leave this country, you know. Um, so maybe he did not have a, a way to come back. And, you know, I understand that he had a child here. Um, maybe she did not want to pick up and move to Africa. We don't really know the details of what happened between these people. Okay, um, so for people to try to, to paint whatever picture they want about people's lives is, is disrespectful. And I understand um, why people are, because some people are saying, well, why are people upset if what she's saying is true? It's not about what she's saying is true. Like I said, the truth, she really truly is, just is. But it was the context in which she was saying it and why she was saying it. You know, why was that important for her to say in that moment? Um, you know, and if she do not like the fact that some biracial people choose to classify themselves as black um you know that's the conversation that she really should have in that in that realm in that you know community not um jump on espn and start rambling off about stuff um that people really should not uh just have free range to think that they have a, a input in because they don't especially if they are not that themselves or they're not um, the parents of or in the black community because oftentimes all of these issues always get pushed um, to us and I said this before in some comments uh, on some blogs you know people always identify people as as black and then they can have completely come out of a completely different culture um, but simply because their skin is brown now we have to take responsibility for the things that they're doing and saying you know, and I personally don't feel the need to take responsibility for um, Sage still. Um, and I think that she's made it very clear that, you know, she doesn't identify um, with our community. She only identifies with her father. Um, and so people need to respect that as well and stop trying to, to act as if we have to take responsibility for her. I don't have to take responsibility for her behavior. Um, and so that's the conversation that I wanted to have. And if you guys understand what I'm saying, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.